Arizona Hot Homestead, my name is Jeff and welcome to my channel. Here I document my experience of moving and living off the grid. I hope you find my channel entertaining. I hope you laugh. I hope you cry. I hope you learn some do's and don'ts. And now for our featured video, ArizonaHotHomestead.com Sending up the water system that is going to be for the propane but it rained so I want to show you this because this is kind of what I was hoping for when the, I left this like this for the rain so that as it rains I want this to pull up with water for now now I want this to pull up with water so that it can help work its way further underneath the tank and it can uh, and therefore make a better a better seal for the tank itself and then I'll fill it like halfway let it rain some more fill it up some more so I'll get crazy with myself 5,000 gallon tank this is the main focus of this segment that's just a plug so dirt don't get in it but that piping you got to find a way to get the water from this tank get over here clear over where the heck am I way the heck over there where that yellow stuff is kind of right there where that rock is I got to get the water clear over there so the question is that's a long ways because the trailer is 30 feet I got seven feet between the trailer and this barn and then this barn is 12 feet wide and then we got another four feet up to this guy here and then we got some more feet over to here so here's my deal here's my intake there and up there there's my outtake that is temporary the idea behind that is I can put water in there right now and check for leaks or whatever but more important what I end up doing is I end up cutting it and I can put a T on it and do all kinds of other stuff this piping is called PEX this ain't your standard PVC like that stuff is. This is PEX. So what's going to happen here with this PEX is this PEX let me back up. In Arizona in my location I'm 6700 feet. 6700 feet elevation my temperatures during the winter will get down to zero at times. In fact there are sometimes well a couple years back it actually got no higher than 20 degrees over a 60 day period so we could get some pretty darn good freezes out here and we end up actually with pretty little snow it just gets cold so anyhow the frost line is two feet this tank is two feet in the ground you can actually on these tanks you can bury them only a third in the ground the rest of it has to be out of the ground but the piping I did not want to use copper because copper doesn't handle the freeze very well it's more expensive I didn't want to use that PVC stuff not so much for the expense but more because it's actually cheap but more that it doesn't handle the freeze very well and galvanized or some other metal just doesn't seem to work well with water so this is called PEX it is a PVC type material but the best part about it is it actually flexes check this out I don't know how much you know about PEX obviously but PEX will actually expand so in fact professionals when they go to install it they have this tool it's like a $500 tool that they actually stick in the end of it and when they press a button it literally will expand the whole thing and then they put their their um, 
their nipple in there if it's a if it's a uh, I don't know a corner piece or or uh, going into a manifold or something like that then they'll do that and uh, and it then goes back to its original size and it grips on there perfectly and it's completely watertight in the industry here in Arizona they use it all the time so out of all the choices on the piping this is the best for freeze there are two kinds there is a type A and a type B the type A is more for freeze than the type B is however Home Depot they only had one type and it doesn't even say type A or B on it and the people there Home Depot don't know squat so I'm assuming this is B if this is all they sell so that's alright it still will work but what I did is even though this is two feet in the ground see this foils looking stuff right there here's what I did I got a roller radiant barrier I cut it in strips and I literally wrapped it around this pipe it will continue to go here my pump and all that's going to go here it'll be a box insulated heated etc but this thing here then I use duct tape now duct tape I didn't notice till just now duct tape actually has different quality of duct tape this is the high quality outdoor duct tape I don't know what the difference is it felt the same using it but it's supposed to be better for outdoor use so I spent the extra few cents and got that but what's cool about it is it will hold that uh, that radiant barrier in place and all that radiant barrier is is just bubble wrap the small bubble wrap of foil on both sides and it does a pretty good job so I wrapped it with this anyhow so it's loosely wrapped and I wrapped it all the way down I've already covered some of it wrapped it all the way down there to the end I don't know if you can see it just yet from here that piece is not done because it's coming out of the ground I'm going to use that pipe foam insulation foam for uh, copper pipe I'm gonna put that on there and then I'm going to put that radiant barrier on top of that so that's going to get double insulated because I really don't want things to freeze on me and when I get the uh, the pump and all the plumbing installed here that will be part of this um, I think I'm gonna post this video now I took another video of them putting in the uh, uh, right before they put in the tank and then this one here is right after they did the tank and and these little plumbing I did I'm gonna put those two together and post those now and then I'll make a third one once all this plumbing is done with the uh, with the pump and all that because I'm not going to do the pump this weekend but because I got something else I got to do but and then I'll then I'll pay the 10 cents a gallon and have it a uh, water tank filled well kind of filled then I've also got a uh, water tank I'll fill some myself so it'll be a combination of me filling and somebody else filling and that's that on the water for now so like I said I'll post this here along with uh, the other one so they'll be together so it will be as one video but I'm so glad someone else to install this because I sure the heck didn't want to this is like clay dude this is like clay all right anything else I want to add or is this it for now well these fittings two inch fittings So you fit it inside and, uh, and obviously you reduce it down to the size you need and uh, and you go from there. I got a little I got 300 gallons I put in this the other day. I'm gonna put another 300 gallons in on my next video. And then whenever I can arrange for the guy to show up, he'll bring 700 gallons. So that will give me, what, 7 and 6. Give me 1,300 gallons in that tank to get started. And then we'll go from there. So, all right. So, subscribe. 
like, comment, Jeff, AZ Hot Homestead, step by step, we're working. So one more thing, this is a bonus to my video. That radiant barrier I was talking about, this is it. It's just foam, and we cut it in strips. This is 25 feet long, and hopefully you can see, but right in there, Uh, the sun's kind of glary and loose dry with this. Yeah, it's too glary. Anyhow, so with this, it's bubble wrap with foil on either side, just called Radiant Barrier. And this is 25 foot long, and it was like I don't remember how many inches wide but we cut like two we cut strips off like say cut a section there I think it was five and a half inches so we did two of them so it's at least 10 inches so that's probably a 24 inch piece right yeah about a 24 inch piece and then we just wrapped it around just just like say just like you would like with uh, electrical tape over some wiring one a long stretch and we did that and taped it every few, uh, every couple of feet, every foot or so, held it in place, went back, filled in the gaps. And of course I buried it so you can't see. But what I'm going to do is when I get over there to the other side, whee, over there, and I do cover that up, I'll show you exactly what I did there. See, see how I play this? I force you to stay tuned. For more wonderful adventures of Jeff on his homestead. Alright, talk to you later. This is a bonus section, by the way. So, if all of you talk about, hey, why didn't you show the radio barrier stuff? I'm like, haha, I did. You just didn't pay attention. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Arizona Hot Homestead, thanks for watching our video today. Hopefully, you uh, had a good time. You enjoyed it. You laughed. You cried. It was entertaining. You learned something. Hopefully you subscribed, liked, commented. This is Arrows on the Hot Homestead. If I don't see you there, I'll see you on the web. <laughs>